All right, so everyone's talking about this Janus Pro 7B. Yeah. <laughs> this new AI model. Right. And uh, we decided to take a deep dive into it. Yeah. And see what it's all about. It's pretty amazing. It is. Okay. okay. Yeah, we found this article and it calls it the uh, open <laughs> yeah. source multimodal AI leader. Yeah. I like that. I mean, Could after be. seeing what it can do, I kind of get it. Yeah. So we're going to try to figure out what makes this thing tick. Yeah. Why it's beating out these giants like Daily 3. Like, how is it so good? Oh, no. It's beating everything. And then, like, what it means for all of us. Yeah, that's what I think is so fascinating about it. Right. It's not just the tech, yeah. which we'll talk about, but yeah. what it means for the real world. Okay, so first things first. All right. What is Janus Pro 7B? Right. Because this article keeps saying yeah. multimodal powerhouse. Right. But that just sounds like a bunch of jargon to me. It does. Like, it's, explain it, it. It's jargon that actually has meaning this time. Okay. Multimodal means that it can work with text and images uh -huh. in a way we haven't really seen before. Mm -hmm. Most AIs are like yeah. someone who can read right. or someone who can like appreciate a painting. Okay. But this is like having both of those people oh. in one brain. I see. Understanding how they connect. So it's not just looking at a picture of a dog wearing a hat. Right. And saying, like, oh, it's a dog in a hat. Exactly. It's like, to, yeah. it, it understands. It can describe it. Yeah, it could be like, that's a funny hat on that dog. Wow. And it can go the other way, too. What? So you give it a really detailed description. Okay. Like a cat riding a unicorn through a rainbow forest. Okay. And it can create that image Whoa. for you. Okay, that's cool. Pretty neat. Yeah. Right. But the article also mentioned these tests. Yeah. Jenny Vall and DPG Bench. Uh huh. What are those? So, those are like standardized tests for AIs. Okay. Instead of math and grammar, mm -hmm. they measure how well the model yeah. understands and generates language. Okay. And how well it can follow instructions to create pictures from text. Oh, so it's like okay. AI SATs. Yeah, kind of. All right. Jenny Vall is all about like understanding the context. Mm hmm. And giving accurate info. Okay. And DPG Bench is about yeah. how well it turns your words into pictures. Okay. And Janus Pro 7B, yep. like, passed these with flying colors? Oh, it aced them. Really? 86% on Genoval. Wow. Which is really good. Yeah. But then it got 84.2% yeah. on DPG Bench. That's really good. Which is way ahead of, yeah. like, most other models. Even Dali 3. Uh huh. How, they, how is that even possible? That's the crazy part. Yeah. It's actually smaller than Dali 3. What? It only has 7 billion parameters. That's yeah. Smaller, but better. Right. How does that? It's all about efficiency. Hmm. Parameters are like the building blocks of an AI. Yeah. More isn't always better. Right. It's how you put them together. So they've made it like lean and mean. Yeah, they've made it really efficient. Okay, so I get that this is like yeah. a big deal in the AI world. It's huge. But what does it mean for like me? Yeah. Or like what does it mean? You yeah. listening right now? For you. Are we all going to have like yeah. personal AI artists? It's not that far off. Really? Imagine like yeah. you're trying to like come up with an idea uh -huh. and you just describe it and it makes Really? Yeah. Wow. Or your kid needs help learning about history. Mm -hmm. You could have it make a custom history book. So no more like yeah. generic textbooks. Exactly. Wow. That would be amazing. Right. But like, wouldn't that be right. really expensive? That's where another key thing comes in. Yeah. It's open source. What does that mean? So unlike DLE3, yeah. which is proprietary, mm -hmm. this is like open to the world. Okay, so like explain this That's to me, like I'm five. Okay, so Like yeah. why is open source such a big deal? Imagine a cake recipe. Okay. If it's open source, yeah. anyone can bake the cake. Okay. They can share it. Uh -huh. They can add their own ingredients. Right. If it's closed source, yeah. only the person who made it okay. can make the cake. So open source means more people can yeah, Use experiment it, with it. Change it. Make it better. Improve it. Upgrade. And it means lower costs. Yeah. So yeah. it's not just for these big companies. Right. It's for like anyone, smaller businesses, yeah. researchers, yeah. individuals. Yeah. So we're talking about like democratizing exactly. AI, yeah. putting it in the hands of everyone. That's the idea. That changes things. It does. It? it changes everything. Yeah, it really does change everything. Yeah. But like with any powerful tool... Yeah. We need to think about how it's used. Yeah. What if someone makes something fake with it? Yeah. 
Something bad. That's a big concern. Yeah. A big concern. It's like giving everyone a superpower. Right. With no instructions. Exactly. No user manual. And that's where it gets really interesting. Okay. We need to talk about ethics. Yeah. Responsible development. Right. How to make sure it's used for good. Okay. So that's that's a whole other. Another deep dive. Yeah. But let's talk about the good stuff. Okay. The upsides. Think of the good stuff. So this open source thing. Yeah. Could lead to. Some really amazing advancements. Okay. Like what? Like in education. Okay. Imagine a textbook mm-hmm. that like adapts to how you're learning. Wow. Gives you more help if you need it. Oh, that's cool. More challenge if you're like yeah. getting it quickly. No more one size fits all. That's exactly. Every student gets their own yeah. custom tailored education. Better. Yeah. That's amazing. What if they could interact? Yeah. With historical figures Whoa, brought yeah. to life oh, wow. through AI. That's next level. Yeah. Learning. Right. Right. Um, cool. What about for us like, non-students? For you. For me? Imagine being able to just describe a picture. Yeah. And it makes it okay. like you want a picture of your dog on a surfboard. That would be cool. You just say it. And there yeah. It is. That would be pretty cool for social media. Yeah. But like the, what's uh, stopping someone from making like a fake image? Right. And that's harmful yeah. image. What developers are working on. Okay. We need safeguards. Yeah. Ways to figure out wow. if an image has been manipulated. So it's like yeah. an arms race. Kind of. As the AI gets smarter, uh-huh. the people trying to misuse it. The people trying to misuse it also get smarter. Get smarter too. But it's a tool. Yeah. Right? And like any tool, it can be used for good or bad. It's up to us to decide yeah. how we want to use it. Okay. So we have to be responsible with this. Yeah, we have to be responsible. Okay. okay. But I think a lot of people are worried about okay. jobs. Is this yeah. AI going to take our jobs? It's a question a lot of people have. Yeah. And it makes sense mm-hmm. to be worried. Yeah. But throughout history new technology Mm -hmm. has changed the job market yeah the printing press was a threat to jobs okay but like how do we adapt to this like how do we adapt to ai so the key is to focus okay on the things ai can't do like what like creativity okay critical thinking Mm -hmm. problem solving right emotional intelligence Uh all of those things that make us human so we have to work with it we have to work with it not against it exactly okay it can augment us yeah not replace us okay like in healthcare okay it can help doctors yeah but doctors are still going to be there so it can take care of the yeah like the boring tasks the tedious stuff and let the humans yeah focus on the hard stuff exactly and then that could lead to yeah incredible advancements okay i see the potential here yeah but are there any like real world examples yeah for sure of how janus pro 7b is being used right now in accessibility. Okay. It's helping people who can't see. Wow. Experience images. That's really cool. Yeah. I like that. It describes the images to them. That's amazing. So they can understand what's in the picture. Technology should be used to empower people. Exactly. Not exclude them. That's the goal. But what about other fields? In the art world. Okay. Artists are using it to make new kinds of art. So it's not replacing artists. No. It's giving them new tools. It's giving them new tools. That's amazing. And in research, they're using it to analyze data, Uh find patterns. Okay. And speed up discoveries. Oh. In medicine and climate science. The possibilities are really endless. It's pretty incredible. But let's be real. Yeah. Are there any downsides? Well, like we talked about. Yeah. It can be misused. Right. The open source part makes it easy for anyone to use it. Well, it's a double-edged sword. Yeah. It's good and bad. It makes it accessible, yeah. but also vulnerable. We have to be careful. We do. We need to talk about the ethics. We do. Set some guidelines. We need to figure out how to yeah. use it responsibly. It's not enough to just be excited about it. Right. You have to be thoughtful. Yeah. This Janus Pro 7B, mm-hmm. it's more than just AI. It is. It's like. It's a reflection of us. A reflection of us. Our choices. Yeah. Our values. So it's about the future. Yeah. The future we want to create. It is. What role do you want to play? Wow. In shaping that future. Whoa. That's kind of a big question. To ask. It's a big question. And it's kind of intimidating. It is. It feels like we went from talking about cool pictures to like the fate of humanity. Well, it's all connected, right? Okay. This technology, Mm -hmm. it's a product of us. Yeah. Of humans. Yeah. But it can also like completely change right. how we live. 
Yeah. How we work. Yeah. How we learn. Yeah. How we create. Everything. Yeah. Even like how we think about yeah. being human. <laughs> what does it mean yeah. to be a person? Okay, but in this world with yeah. this technology. For those of us who aren't like right. AI experts, yeah. where do we even begin? You start with awareness. Oh, okay. <laughs> stay informed. So don't just like ignore yeah. it. Don't bury your head in the sand. Yeah. This is happening. Yeah. It's happening now. That's not science fiction anymore. Yeah. It's going to affect all of us. Okay. So like read articles. Yes. Listen to podcasts. Podcasts like this one. Exactly. Talk to people <laughs> who are working on this. Okay. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. Right. Especially with something like this. Okay. But what about actually doing something? Right. Well, what can we do? So you can support organizations that are promoting yeah. responsible AI development. Yeah. Okay. So there are groups out there. Uh -huh. They're advocating for ethical guidelines. Okay. Doing research mm -hmm. on the risks. Okay. Making sure that it benefits everyone. So, like, put our money where our mouth is? Yeah, donate to the good guys. Okay, yeah, I like that. You can also get involved locally mm -hmm. in your community. There are groups yeah. exploring the impact of AI. Right, in our neighborhoods. Yeah. Okay. The more voices we have, yeah. the better. It's easy to feel like, what can I do? I'm yeah. just one person. But if we all do our part, yeah. we can make a difference. Okay, so any final words of wisdom? You have a role to play. Okay. Your voice matters. Mm-hmm. Your choices matter. Okay. This isn't about like yeah. giving in to technology. Yeah. It's about shaping it. It's yeah. about asking questions. Okay. Demanding that it's used for good. So it's not about being afraid of it. No. It's it, about being. It's about understanding it. Engaged. And using it. Informed. And empowered. And, yeah. Okay. So even small actions. Even small actions. Even make a difference. Can make a difference. The conversations we have. Yeah. The choices we make. All of it. It all adds up. Wow, you've gone from making me feel intimidated to like, I can actually do something. That's what I want. Yeah. I want you to feel like you can make a difference. Okay. Because you can. So there you have it, folks. That's it. Another deep dive. Another one done. Completed. <laughs> we went from understanding what this Janus Pro 7B is. Yeah. To talking about how it's going to change. <laughs> it's going to change everything. 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 Thank you, dear listener, for joining us on this adventure. Thanks for listening. We hope you feel informed. Yeah. But also empowered. You have the power. Because the future of AI isn't something that just happens to us. Right. It's something we create. We create it together. Together. Until next time. See you next time. Keep those minds curious. Keep learning. And those voices loud. Keep talking about it.